Hey, it's Mike, welcome back to the channel. Hey, today we're gonna set up a long range Wi-Fi network using this uh, Wavlink XA1800 Wi-Fi 6. Um, and I, I set this up the other day at a different location and I wasn't working well, so I decided to scrap it and I got the Eero for that particular building, so from Amazon. But this one, before I send it back, I'm gonna give it another chance here on this property and see if we can get it to go. I don't know how far that would be. It's probably only about four or 500 yards I'm trying to go. So we're gonna mount it up here on the side of the house. I've gotta configure it all. I mistakenly ran the extension cord, but I need to run the uh, ethernet cable and see if that's long enough. But this is it, it's the uh, XA AX1800, I'm sorry. So we're gonna see if it works. Um, the other one, I give it the benefit of the doubt. I don't know if it was my network. I did find a bad network cable. And uh, what was happening when I plugged in at the other location is every like 15 minutes, or as soon as I plugged this thing in, it would work, but it would just suck all of my bandwidth. And even my wired network went down because this thing was drawing so much of my bandwidth, it was gobbling up the whole network. So <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. But I did test this the other day at this property with the different uh, network setting, and it worked pretty well. So that was in a different room inside the house. Today we're going to give it the benefit of the doubt and connect it outside here, connect it to the house, and see if we could beam it. There's a little hill there, it's probably about 25 feet above where I'm at. So I figure if I get this up, you know, 10 or 15 feet on the house, perhaps it'll work better. So that's what we're going to do. I got to go see if I can get this Ethernet cable to stretch from the house outside here because that little connector they give you is not weatherproof. This thing isn't, uh, it's not a weatherproof POE. So we got to go plug that in the house and see what happens. So give me a minute. So I'm not going to run through this in great detail. I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to set it up and see if it works. And uh, that's it. So let me get this thing configured and we'll be back. All right, I temporarily have it hooked up to power. And uh, now we're going to log into this network and uh, see if it's transmitting anything at all and see what happens. All right, I got to admit, this is the part here that seems to trip me up. I don't really want it to be in an ex access mode. We're going to put it in repeater mode, I guess. But I wanted to use mesh extender mode, but that doesn't seem to work. So we're going to have to go repeater mode and see what happens. So let's hit apply here. We go to next. All right, back. So check this out. We got this thing connected to the house, and as you can see it up there. Ah, man, it is bright. I can't even see it. It's too bright. All right. Well, let me go up here and uh, got it connected. It didn't really. I'm so confused by those modes. Oh, look at that. My ladder is just by a thread there. All right, we're gonna get on this ladder. So. I don't know if you can see that tree line. There's a big maple tree here, small maple tree there, but way that grass and way back there, I don't know how far that is. It's probably five or 600 yards. And I'm actually getting a signal, but I'm gonna get off this ladder before I fall off it. Because it must have shifted or something. So it uh, seems to me, now, I don't know why it wasn't working at that other location, but it seems like it's working here relatively well. I'll, um, I'll paste that. I'll get online. I'll do a, a satellite thing, and I'll paste it out and see how many yards that is or feet or whatever. But, it, I mean, it seems to be working. I don't know. I have two of these things, so maybe I'll put the other one on the other side of the house and beam it the other way into the other acres we have across the road I don't know but so far I think it works so we're gonna probably keep it not send it back and uh, oh sorry about that so we're gonna say it works oh, there's wasps up there now too I got lucky I will paste that out later I'll pay I'll tell you what I'll do maybe I'll walk up there and leave you guys on while I talk but I got some other stuff to do right now so 
give me a bit and we'll do that in a little bit. So hang on. All right, well, I did paste this out and um, according to this YouTube satellite image, which is kind of old, we're getting about 700 feet out of this thing. I probably could get more, but I actually haven't brush hogged. This, this, this uh, satellite image is old, but I haven't brush hogged at a tree line again in a while. And I feel like getting ticks to test this signal out, but it's going really strong at 700 feet. I mean, there's a few spots where there's some trees in a way where you might lose a bar. And if I go the other direction, walk up our road, we get about the same distance, at least 700 feet. But that way, there's a lot more trees, a lot more obstructions. So this thing does seem to beam it, and it does beam it the other direction, all the way down to the highway, which is well over 700 feet. So I would say it works fairly well. The only thing I cannot figure out is that mesh repeater mode. I can't seem to get it to be in mesh mode. I have to use it in, uh, what did I use? Repeater mode, I guess it was. So it's, it's creating another network with a different name, which I really didn't want to do. I kind of wanted to have it all be one network with the same name. But for whatever reason, I can't get that mode to stick. So if you have any thoughts, if you set one of these up in the past, let me know what I'm doing wrong. Because obviously I could log in and redo it. But I'm going to keep it and... Uh, it gives me some options for other things I can do with Wi-Fi way up in our fields. And, um, you know, for the money, it seems to work well. I did set up the Amazon Eero network somewhere else. That's a true mesh network where all the um, devices seem to kind of um, hop each other's signal. So, like, one picks it up, then it retransmits it. So that's kind of cool, too. But um, that really wouldn't work at this location well because I've only got one building and one structure. So... This seems to be a lot further as far as distance is concerned. So if you got to set one of these things up, this may be a good option. They do have another version. This is the 1800 version. I'm not sure what the difference is, but uh, I'm relatively happy with it. I do have two of these repeaters. So I may set one up on the other side of the house and send a signal the opposite direction and see what happens with that. But again, if it creates a whole other network, I don't really want to have three different signals. So hopefully that one will work in mesh mode, but I haven't had a chance to do it yet. So if you have any tips or suggestions on what I could do to make this better or make the range better, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.